Hey gang, KC here at beautiful Museum Square. Screen Actors Guild offices getting ready to uh, do a casting session tonight. Got here a little bit early so that I could <laughs> work on some stuff. I brought my core plast, uh, 18 by 24 piece of core plast that I'm going to turn into a tall, skinny, one pounder or small mold. I have my regular slab mold and I have my bigger, tall, narrow soap mold. So I'm going to make half this size for, um, for trial batches, trial for trial batches. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm living for the dream. I'm outlining, trying to get my molds going before I have to go in for the passages. So more later. Hello there, my lovelies. KC here with a tutorial on my Core Class Mini Tall Sky High Mold. I'm making a smaller version of the one I made before, and I wanted to show you how I did it. Basically, you'll need some tools here, a ruler, scissors, Sharpie pen. I also used a couple of my bars of soap to decide how thick I wanted the mold. Of course, I wanted it two and a half across the bottom, two and a half inches. And as you see, I have gridded out, cut out the section and then gridded it out. And this is my hot process piggy bacon, smoked bacon soap. This is my cold process lemongrass soap, both made in the Coreplast mold soap mold. So it works for both. I'm going to cut it out now and I will show you how it looks after I get done. Stay tuned. Sorry about the wobbliness. Hey there gang. Okay, I'm back. I have finished the core plast mini tall sky high mold narrow. There you go. I made it seven inches across to give me six bars and a couple of sample bars. This will allow me to try new sample fragrances and techniques. And I intend to use uh, some of the core plast that I have left over here. Uh, this piece left over, I will make dividers for this so that I can try some mantra swirls. Here is the slab mold I made with, half with part of this core plast. So basically for this, for the price of uh, one sheet of 36 by 24 coroplast propylene signage, I got four molds out of them, two large and two small. I also wanted to point out that this is the what I designed my smaller ones by. This mold I've had forever, it, as you can see, it is a Rubbermaid drawer organizer and I lined it, I would line it with plastic or freezer paper. This new core plast mold will allow me to not have to line. Not only that, I found that I can clean these core plast molds by scraping them. The soap just scrapes right off and then I only have to wipe them down with a damp cloth. I wanted to show you how soap fits in there so it's perfect it's just what I want this is my cold process this is my hot process it took me a total of five minutes and 37 seconds to cut this core plast mold out after after I made all the measurements and this is what it looks like completely put it together I made gates these are my gates and a drawbridge, so check the gate, and this will be taped. I also suggest taping the insides here and here, so that, um, or here, anywhere, anywhere that soap might get in when you pour it. And I also like to reinforce the bottom with clear packaging tape. So there you have it. I will probably cover these in like some cool scrap paper or, or duct tape at some point. But so now I'm going to use this and cut out some uh, dividers to go into, I'm thinking of a divider for this and I'm thinking of maybe, uh, this is my six by nine bar mold and I will make a dividers to go into it as well. So there you have it. 
my core plast tutorial how to make yourself four reusable non-linable you don't have to line them molds using core plast and you can use it for hot process and cold process and this piece of core plast cost me I believe it was ten dollars and some change at Home Depot so look for them. All right. Thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe and follow along. Take care. Bye-bye. Hey, everybody. Well, it's done. I've got the got two dividers in each tall sky-high mold, Corplast mold. So I'll be able to do single and double mantra swirls. And very excited about this. I do suggest taping along the edges because there it's kind of has holes and as you can see I poured soap and it went down in little holes there so you want to take that so that your soap uh, batter doesn't get in there so there you have it two moles I'm excited and you can see the little core plast four moles out of one sheet of core plast plastic reusable don't have to line them can scrape them clean and then wipe them with a damp cloth and the best part is they fold away skinny, they fold away flat out of the way. There you have it. Core class holes. Hey everybody, Casey here unmolding my two pound batch of soap I made last night, or actually this morning I put it to bed at 4 a.m. using the core plast mold that I made yesterday. So I was gonna wait but I can't, so I'm going to own mold it now. Basically, I've taken the tape off, opened up the bridge there, and basically, there's my soap. There's my loaf. And here's the mold. This is what it looks like. And I wanted to show you all quickly how easy it is to clean. You just basically go along here, Then you can go over it with a, um, a damp cloth. Or if you want to wash it, you can do that as well. But anyway, that's how I clean it. I want to show you all. This is my little secret swirl I was going for last night. I'm not going to cut the whole thing. Um, I ordered a cutter. And I'd like to wait for the cutter to come to do this. But I can't help it, I want to cut one now. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it on its side because it's a little bit, it's not four inches, but it's like three. So I'm going to turn it on its side, put it back here where we can see what we got here. It's going to cut a little piece. Hopefully, it won't be too non straight. There we go. Okay. That's what I got. <laughs> it looks like a cartoon character. Hmm. Me and my secret swirl needs a lot more practice. And I, I did the tongue test. No zap. It does taste an awful lot like the uh, essential oils smell that I used in the batch. I'm going to cut one more slice. There we have it. I cut these slices kind of thin, so I guess maybe I'll make these guest soaps. There is another try at the secret swirl. And I'm gonna end you full on soda ash. There you have it. Thanks for watching.